Renin-Angiotensin-Aldosterone System The Renin-Angiotensin-Aldosterone System is a classic endocrine system that helps to regulate long-term blood pressure and extracellular volume in the body. The system begins with the release of angiotensinogen into circulation by the liver. This may be in response to low blood pressure and adverse changes in sodium concentrations. An enzyme, renin, is secreted which cleaves angiotensinogen to form the inactive decapeptide angiotensin 1. Further transformation of angiotensin is carried out by angiotensin converting enzyme or ACE. This is predominantly found in the pulmonary circulation. However, ACE is also produced in the vascular endothelium of many tissues, including the kidney, adrenal gland, brain, and heart. The angiotensin-converting enzyme converts the inactive precursor angiotensin 1 into the vasoactive peptide angiotensin 2. In addition, alternative pathways exist that do not rely on either renin or ACE. In non-renin pathways, enzymes like tonin and cathepsin D release angiotensin 1 from angiotensinogen and tissue plasminogen activator or TPA and can make angiotensin II directly from angiotensinogen. This bypasses the midway production of angiotensin I. Enzymes like chymase can form angiotensin II from angiotensin I via an ACE-independent pathway. Angiotensin-converting enzyme also degrades bradykinin, which is required for synthesis of a major vasodilator, nitric oxide. Angiotensin II binds AT1 receptors expressed on the surface of vascular endothelium and impairs nitric oxide synthesis as well. Reduced bioavailability of nitric oxide combined with the stimulation of AT1 receptors on smooth muscle cells causes vasoconstriction. In addition to a vasoconstriction effect, stimulation of AT1 receptor causes the adrenal glands to release the hormone aldosterone, resulting in sodium retention. Combined with vasoconstriction, this increases blood pressure. In the final stages of RAS, the kidney reduces the production of renin. Most of the known actions of angiotensin II are mediated through the AT1 receptors, which can be found in the kidney, heart, vascular smooth muscle cells, brain, adrenal glands, platelets, adipocytes, and the placenta. Angiotensin II type II receptors can be found in low levels mainly in the uterus, adrenal, central nervous system, heart, and kidney. AT2 receptors appear to counteract the effects of AT1 receptor stimulation. Another angiotensin II type receptor is the AT4 receptor. Its stimulation may increase synthesis of the natural inhibitor of TPA called PI1, thereby reducing effective fibrinolysis. Stimulation of AT4 receptor appears also to promote cell growth and proliferation.